Now, about 500 students of the University of Professional Studies Accra on Monday protested against the sighting of a fuel station very close to a five-story lecture complex at the school. Uh, the students clad in red and black shirts stormed the class to disrupt an ongoing test to demand the closure of the self-filling station, saying there could be a catastrophe should there be an accident, as happened at the atomic junction. Now, if you're looking closely, uh, it's the same self-fuel station that Forgive Amadeka reported on in that uh, April report. So uh, the Students' Representative Council of the University of Professional Studies Accra told Joe News about 20 students were injured in a stampede at the school's hostel during Saturday's gas explosion. Maxwell Agbagba was there. Students of the University of Professional Studies Accra are protesting on their campus right now, but currently I'm in front of the cell filling station. It is what has triggered the protest on that particular campus. The students say the location of this fuel filling station is a threat to their lives. <laughs> I'm currently here at the University of Professional Studies Accra. It's a Monday and in front of the Justice Aita building, which is a multi-purpose lecture theater. Students are not in their classroom. Lectures are not happening. About 500 of them are gathered in front of the school building, calling on school authorities to take action. More than 20 of our students are badly injured. Look at how far uh, the incident happened, but our students are really injured. And there's a time bomb. There's a filling station just seated behind our, um, our lecture block. The gas exploded. The students were running. And the, the, the gas was in the atmosphere. And like they were feeling it at their backs. It was very hot. It came to the hostel. As I speak to you, the hostel, the roof of the hostel has bent down a bit. The roof of the hostel has bent down. More than 20 students have fall, uh, fell down. And some people have bruises on their heads. The filling station is sighted. It is too close to our campus. We are, we, we are asking for the relocation of the filling station. Because the filling station, should there, be, should there be any explosion at the filling station, the entire campus will be in ashes. And more than 13,000 lives will be lost. This is the atmosphere here at the University of Professional Studies Accra. These students are protesting against what they say is the location of a floor filling station very close to their multi purpose lecture theater. But happening now, all of them are supposed to be standing outside demonstrating. But some of their colleagues are inside this classroom having lectures. And they are here and they say their plan is simple. They want to scuttle the class. They don't want the class to happen. They want their colleagues inside the classroom to come out and join them. of the school, um, Dr. Seydou Mustafa, um, tried advising the students not to go outside the prisons of the University of Professional Studies Accra to demonstrate against what they say um, is a threat to their life. He just finished talking. So, once, once this disaster has happened, it is only a reminder for us to revisit where we left it off. Remind EPA again to respond to our letters that we wrote to them and, and National Petroleum Authority and also to consider the option of how to call legal. But now, Strategic Energies Limited, owners of the fuel station in question, have dismissed claims the sighting of its fuel station close to the UPSA poses a threat to the lives of the students. And um, they have been speaking to uh, my colleagues. And uh, the managing director of Cell, Johnny Blagoji, says his outfit has installed standard equipment which will curtail any explosion should it occur. In an interview with Derek Ekosan, Mr. Blagoji says his outfit has the required documents to operate the fuel station in the area. Would you call this another cycle of self-defense? No, no. I think I would rather call it another cycle of education. Uh, where education means? To the, to, to where? Mm -hmm. Uh, education means uh, the students, body knowing what we have done at UPSC mm -hmm. or what the industry is doing, you know, uh, in keeping our retail outlets safe, mm -hmm. you know, for everybody, for our customers and for ourselves. 
you heard the agitations of the students. For example, they say they don't know how safe the environment is for them, especially as it is very close to their school. And they also claim that it's also in a vicinity where you have a lot of houses nearby. How do you react to all of this? I thought we had, you know, solved this problem or we have uh, educated them about this uh, issue almost a year ago. Uh, when we started the project, there was some agitation mm -hmm. by the students and we engaged them. Mm -hmm. And uh, finally, around January 20, 25th, January mm -hmm. this year, there was a stakeholder meeting at EPA mm -hmm. where the student body was there, mm -hmm. uh, MPA was there, EPA was there. Mm -hmm. In fact, the student body even had some lawyers who represented them mm -hmm. and ourselves. And a presentation was made to everybody of what has been done at UPSA. What safety measures have been put in place, the standoff equipment that have been used there. And in fact, we have used the international standards mm -hmm. from our piping to the, the, the equipment that we have used mm -hmm. there. Now, um, you had a meeting with the real stakeholders. Was, this, or was it the same? administration as in the student representative council no i must say uh, i think uh, there is a change in the mm -hmm. src uh, membership now mm -hmm. that I, I, I had so that the, the the old membership were privy to this uh, meeting we had mm -hmm. i believe uh, Maybe there was a communication gap, or there have been a communication gap for that matter. Uh, the students, or the entire student body, uh, are not privy to uh, the discussions we had. In fact, during the discussions, the stakeholder meeting, the student body requested for documents covering what we've done, which we did and gave it to them. You know. I think in all of this, one thing that stands out is the part about the human face bits, where they expect that because it's within a community where should there be an explosion like we just had, lives may be lost, don't you think? Yes, anywhere there's explosion, mm -hmm. uh, the consequences are there. I mean, if there's a gas explosion, uh, the consequences will be uh, the fire spreading mm -hmm. and uh, uh, people will can be injured and uh, there can be fatalities. Mm -hmm. But what we are saying is that we've considered the, the, uh, the vicinity or the environment in which we are going to um, uh, operate vis-a-vis -vis the schools, hostels, and uh, pedestrians, and uh, everybody that matters. For that matter, we, we have tried to, to make the place as safe as possible. In fact, very, very safe, let me use the word, very, very safe as possible, yes. If there should be mm -hmm. one, the place is devoid of, devoid of spillage, mm -hmm. two, the place is devoid of ingress of water into the tanks because of the way the installations have been done, three, the place is devoid of leakages because we've used uh, uh, UPP pipes, the, the polyethylene pipes, that have a lifespan of more than 30 years. We never use any governance that will corrode, and for that matter, there will be a leakage. And we have used uh, submersible pumps that has put all the system under pressure. We have alarm systems that would trigger if there should be any leakage or you know something that any leakage. So there's no leakage. There's no uh, ingress of water into the tank to displace the product like it happened at uh, Circle. So we've considered all these things and have installed the, uh, our drug underground equipment and, uh, uh, if I should say, the station in such a way that uh, the, the, the public is safe and we are safe.